Good evening and welcome from Tel Aviv. Two worlds of misery tonight, just miles apart. In the heart of the Middle East, the Israel-Gaza conflict has taken center stage, affecting the lives of millions. However, its implications reach far beyond the immediate suffering, with profound consequences for the global economy. Today, we explore the extensive impact of this crisis. As the Israel-Gaza war escalates, it leaves a significant mark on the economies of both regions, creating a ripple effect worldwide. Like Middle East wars of the past, the conflict between Israel and Hamas that broke out has the potential to disrupt the world economy and even tip it into recession if more countries are drawn in. That risk is real as Israel's army prepares to invade Gaza in response to an attack by the militant group. The death toll from the Hamas assault and the ongoing Israeli airstrikes on Gaza is already in the thousands. In Gaza, the devastating consequences are visible, with infrastructure destruction, power cuts, and essential goods shortages. The economic outlook for Gaza is grim. Prolonged conflict and potential geographic expansion of the war could significantly darken the economic picture. The global economy would experience disruptions in both oil prices and growth. These economic consequences might negatively influence wealthier countries' ability and willingness to assist less endowed climate-ravaged nations, including those in the Middle East. Furthermore, it could bolster those advocating for a slower transition away from hydrocarbon production hindering progress towards sustainable energy sources. In Israel, the government's call-up of over 300,000 reservists strains labor supply, while investments and tourism face uncertainty. The implications of this conflict for the labor market and investment climate extend well beyond the immediate crisis. Conflict in the Middle East can send tremors through the world because the region is a crucial supplier of energy and a key shipping passageway. The Arab-Israeli War of 1973, which led to an oil embargo and years of stagflation in industrial economies, is the clearest example. Other conflicts had a more limited impact, even when the human toll was high. Today's world economy looks vulnerable. It's still recovering from a bout of inflation exacerbated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. Another war in an energy-producing region could rekindle inflation. Broader consequences could extend from renewed unrest in the Arab world to next year's presidential election in the U.S., where gasoline prices are key to voter sentiment. All of these potential effects depend on how the war develops over the coming weeks or months. Bloomberg Economics has examined the likely impact on global growth and inflation under three scenarios. The Israel-Gaza conflict could potentially extend its reach, leading to further human suffering and affecting economies far beyond the region. Hezbollah, based in South Lebanon, could reignite hostilities, leading to devastating consequences for Lebanon's already fragile economy. A broader conflict could send shockwaves through the region's stability and economy. Iran, a major oil producer and Israel's rival, has long supported Hamas and Hezbollah. A direct war with Iran, while not imminent, could have far-reaching global economic impacts, particularly in the oil sector. This worst-case scenario could see oil prices soaring above USD 125 per barrel, a significant concern for the global economy. The primary effect of the conflict on the global economy, as long as it remains contained, is higher oil prices. Investors are demanding higher risk premiums, causing oil prices to rise. This situation impacts not only oil importing countries, but also households worldwide as fuel prices rise, adding to inflation and increasing the pressure on central banks to consider interest rate hikes. What will determine how much of an impact the conflict has on deglobalization? If the situation in the Middle East does escalate, that's probably going to lead to a bigger fracturing in the Middle East and then possibly between some other major economic actors. When you think about the United States, the country has very strong support of Israel. And if you see other countries such as China either take the other side or not explicitly support Israel or choose to abstain, I think there's a possibility that some of the trade linkages between the United States and those countries may sour. The high toll in Israel increases the likelihood of a bloody retaliation and a regional war. 
The balance of probabilities, though, still tilt toward a contained conflict with a high cost and human suffering but limited economic and market impact. One thing that is certain, hopes for a more stable Middle East are in tatters. In recent years, rapprochement between Saudi Arabia and Iran and peace treaties between Israel and several Arab states, with the prospect that the Saudis might follow suit soon, raised expectations that the region might see an end to decades of strife. Instead, it's facing a new conflagration. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the US-China trade war, and rising tensions over Taiwan show that geopolitics is back as a driver of economic and market outcomes. In the Middle East, it never really went away. The Israel-Gaza conflict is not only about economics, it also affects climate and multilateral cooperation. The upcoming COP28 climate summit in Dubai faces challenges, especially as recent events have complicated diplomatic relations between Israel and Arab nations. The United Arab Emirates plan to use the summit to further solidify its bilateral rapprochement with Israel. However, this is now under question due to Israel's actions in Gaza, causing potential damage to the UAE's reputation. Civil society activists at the summit may raise awareness of Gaza's plight and its consequences for climate change vulnerability. These calls may well expand into a critique of Arab regime's normalization and cooperation with Israel, challenging the Kiops hosts to uphold their pledge of inclusion and free assembly. Emirati officials would do well to not stifle or stage manage these voices, but to instead follow their lead and make the protection of vulnerable communities across the region. Palestinians under siege and occupation, but also the countless other people affected by conflict and displacement elsewhere, a more prominent part of the summit's adaptation agenda. Moving forward, substantive dialogues addressing the climate impact of conflicts in the Middle East are imperative. International leaders must confront these challenges head on through meaningful action. It's vital to recognize that climate change and conflicts are interconnected, and tackling one issue can lead to progress in addressing the other. As the Israel-Gaza conflict unfolds, its repercussions resonate far and wide, emphasizing our collective responsibility for peace and sustainability in our interconnected world. It's imperative that we not only understand the broader implications of such conflicts, but also work together to create a more peaceful and sustainable future for all. Meaningful Action and Dialogues Addressing the climate impact of conflicts in the Middle East are crucial steps towards a more resilient and harmonious world. Thank you for joining us on this important journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed about critical global issues.